First, I'd like to establish protocol. We're honored to have with us here today some distinguished guests that we would like to recognize right now. The Honorable Michael A. Weeks, JPMP, Minister of National Security. Good afternoon, Mr. Weeks. Mr. Chris Farrow, the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of National Security. Thank you, Mr. Farrow. Commissioner Darren Simons, is he here? Mr. Simons, from the Bermuda Police Service. We have some guests that have not arrived as yet, but if they come, we will be able to try to call their names. Mr. Dana Lovell, Acting Chief Fire Officer. Good afternoon, Mr. Lovell. Mr. Troy Frebit, Assistant Chief Fire Officer. Mr. Aaron Dankins, Acting Assistant Chief Fire Officer. Mr. Mark Taylor, Senior Airport Fire Officer. And Mr. Leonard Davis, Acting Divisional Officer of the training division. Bermuda Fire Rescue Service is a proud community-based organization who thrive on serving our community by providing fire safety, protection, and EMS services. Today, we are here to celebrate the achievements of these dedicated individuals who have answered the call to serve. They have diligently committed themselves to rigorous training both locally and abroad. This process has culminated in today's celebration in recognition of their efforts. I would like for each of you to sit back, relax, enjoy yourselves as we honor the newest recruits of Bermuda Fire and Rescue Service 2023. turn around and see and take a picture or a little video, you'll get to see them in a minute. As we call them and they come forward, you can applaud, but just remember we're going to have the next person soon after. Firefighter Marquis Han. Firefighter Ashton Dorham. Remember, these guys have been working hard for the last, who, so many weeks. They're excited now. Firefighter Jake Fox. Firefighter Amori Majors. <laughs> this is our tallest firefighter, eh? <laughs> the 
gentle giant. <laughs> Firefighter, Ronnie Pitcher. Firefighter, Jakaide Richardson. <laughs> Firefighter, Nathan Robinson. Firefighter, Ramsey Segar. <laughs> Mr. Segar's got a serious look on today. <laughs> Firefighter, Treshawn Sanders. Last but not least, firefighter Zico Swan. And we couldn't have done all of this without the help of our instructors. We have in front of me, Acting Sergeant Christopher Clark. <laughs> well done, Mr. Clark. And Acting Sergeant Stephen Casey. Mr. Casey. Here in front of you, you have class of 2023 recruits from your fire and rescue service, airport division. Put your hands together for them. We're going to have our opening remarks by Divisional Officer Leonard Davis. Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah. Protocol already been established. Thank you. It is with great pride that I am standing up here today and welcoming the newest additions to the Bermuda Fire and Rescue Service. It wasn't long ago that I remember standing in this very hall and seeing all of them assembling in line for the first time. I can remember seeing the nervous, nervousness and excitement written all over their faces. The first day, in my opinion, is always the best. It's a visual of seeing what they are and having the knowledge of knowing what they will become. Now, this course did not come without its share of challenges. We had new team of instructors, who were tasked with delivering new course syllabus for the first time. We had time restraints, limited resources, while still bearing the task of meeting the deadlines and achieving our objectives. Yes, we had our fair share of challenges, but that's where greatness lies. It lies in taking the hardship and challenges and turning into triumphs and accomplishments. This is where the joy lies. 
When the training team was assembled, they were given one simple mission, make every day better than the day before. Every day, I wanted to push them just a little harder than the day before, and I wanted to continue this until they achieved their objectives. Now it's their job to rise to the occasion. You see, this is a unique job which requires unique individuals to respond to unique occasions. We try to push them to their limits so when the true duty calls, we know they are willing and able to answer the call. This is what we do. For those who did, did not know, the training course was a combination of local and overseas training. And again, I have to say, it did not come with its fair share of challenges. I can't imagine what it must have looked like walking out of Newcastle International Airport only to be greeted by snow and temperatures 25 degrees and lower. I'm sorry, at least you know that, that uh, we did our best. <laughs> Every week I would get a weekly progress report and attend online fire academy briefings from the New York, uh, sorry, Newcastle Fire Chief. The message started off the same. They are fantastic. They are also keen, eager, and engaged. They all act like true professionals. After every shower of respect and admiration, the fire chief would always say, and you know it's extremely cold out here. <laughs> and I would always respond, or turn on the heat. <laughs> I say all this to say congratulations. The objective was laid out in front of you, and you all rose to the occasion. To my instructors, thank you. The plan was set in place, and you executed it to perfection. To the families and friends of the faces that we see in front of you today, thank you for your sacrifice and support. And last but not least, thank you to the Recruit Course of 2023. Without your hard work and dedication, this would not be made possible. So thank you, congratulations, good luck, and welcome to the family. I would like to now invite up to the podium Acting Chief Fire Officer Dana Lovell. Thank you, Mr. Davis. <clears throat> Protocol having been established, we also would like to take a moment to recognize the Fire Service Chaplain, uh, Dr. Kevin Santushi. Thank you for joining us today. Today marks the completion of 16 weeks of rigorous training covering a diverse range of theoretical and practical disciplines. The first discipline is structural firefighting special incidents, which included subjects such as, but not limited to, general firefighting operations, hurricane procedures, breathing apparatus, command and control and fire service, and fire service legislation, to list a few. The second discipline is basic first aid CPR training with the emergency medical technician training due to the start once they're on shift, and this was necessary due to the urgency of their placement in service. The third and most final and most important discipline is the aircraft rescue firefighting. This particular training was accomplished through an arduous six-week course in the United Kingdom. All 10 recruit firefighters have successfully been certified in the Aviation Firefighter Initial and Aviation Initial Driving Courses. As most are aware, the Bermuda Fire and Rescue Service assumed the responsibility of aircraft rescue and firefighting in 2006 at the Aleph Wade International Airport. And recently, we had to bolster the number of personnel to supply services there. The success of this course has tremendously elevated the resilience of the Bermuda Fire and Rescue Service. This is significant, especially in a time of immense budgetary restraints. 
During the course, it is customary for recruits to participate in at least one charitable event. This year, the recruits held a car wash and raised upwards of $2,500, which was distributed between two local charities, Mirrors and Pals. I take this time to thank our very own Chef Casey, I saw him here earlier, for his unmeasured assistance and to all who came to support in helping to make this fundraising effort a success. To you, the newest members of the firefighting fraternity, you were selected and have been provided with the best possible foundation on which to build your fire service career. Firefighting is not only a physically demanding occupation, but also requires mental fitness and a willingness to continue learning process. You must, of your own volition, maintain a high level of self-discipline, integrity, and willingness to serve, recognizing that you are responsible to this community. Today marks the end of your recruit training. However, it is also the beginning of a career that requires sustained training, discipline, and personal development. And in that vein, I encourage each and every one of you to reach new heights. Pursue your careers by furthering your education through local and overseas courses. Take advantage of the many opportunities provided and the internal promotional examinations. This will prepare you to, to accept added responsibilities that come with future opportunities for promotion within the BFRS. I also thank your family and friends for supporting you over the past 16 weeks. And I encourage them to continue providing support to you as you grow and develop in your career, which at times will be both mentally and physically exhausting. Congratulations to course director, acting divisional officer Davis, emergency medical services coordinator Hutzel, lead instructor, acting Lieutenant DeRoy Sumner, and course instructors, acting Sergeants Clark and Casey, whose dedication, commitment, and efforts have been fundamental to the success of this course. You have done a commendable job. I would also like to thank everyone who helped and contributed significantly to the success of this recruits course. On the back of your program, we have listed those organizations and individuals who have contributed to the success of this course. And finally, congratulations to the newest members of the Bermuda Fire and Rescue Service. Job well done. I'm sure that you can now appreciate the amount of work and physical and emotional demands that are required to be a firefighter. I wish you every success as you embark on your new and exciting career. Please remember, the real opportunity for success lies within the person and not the job. It is a state of mind. Therefore, if you want success, think of yourself as a success. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chief Lovell. And Mr. Lovell would give me a little call now and then and say, hey, how are you doing? How's it going? I said that during reading. He said, I'm hearing some great things about him. So I'm, I'm very happy to know that you was even that concerned about him, Mr. Love, and that made a big difference. And the guys were very, very proud to know that you was checking up on him like that, coming right from the top. So big kudos to you, sir. Well done. We're going to have our minister's address right now from Minister Weeks. Thank you, Mr. Sumner. Good afternoon to the acting chief, to members of the Bermuda Fire and Rescue Service, members of the media, to family and friends. I am elated to be here today to mark the conclusion of the Bermuda Fire and Rescue Service's latest recruitment course. 
This course began last November and has led us to this occasion to praise our 10 newest firefighters for their tremendous work and perseverance. We have seen these individuals putting in countless hours of hard work over the past few months. And it is awe-inspiring that they have accomplished so much in such a short period. They have worked tirelessly to learn the skills required to become a, a valuable asset to the Bermuda Fire and Rescue Service. And they have done it all with a great attitude and enthusiasm. It is my honor to recognize their efforts, and I hope they will continue striving for excellence in their future endeavors. But before we present certificates and awards, I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the families of the graduates for their unwavering support during this time. Without your love and encouragement, these individuals would not have been able to achieve what they have. On behalf of the Ministry of National Security, thank you for all that you do. Can you all give yourselves a round of applause? To the 10 firefighters passing out today, you are making Bermuda proud. You are courageous. You should feel immense pride that you were selected from a long list of people to be accepted into the Bermuda Fire and Rescue Service and complete this course. I knew it wasn't easy, especially being in the north of England during the winter. I was thrilled that you successfully completed four weeks of training in Newcastle, England where you learn all aspects of operating at the airport. This training undoubtedly will strengthen Bermuda and our airport capabilities in the long run. Most people would not be able to do what you have done. I know the BFRS will be holding additional recruitment drives in the future, and I want to encourage other Bermudians to step up to the plate and consider a career in the Bermuda Fire and Rescue Service. Today's graduates joined the service at an exciting time when the service and its operations are in the public spotlight. There was a time long ago when becoming a firefighter consisted mainly of responding to and extinguishing fires. Well, those days are long gone. Becoming a firefighter today is not a job. It's a career and a very rewarding one at that. Our fire officers must engage in much more than just firefighting. The modern firefighter must also have skills for emergency medical response, hazardous material response, emergency medical services, and responding to vehicle access. When responding to an emergency, firefighters are met with various challenges. They must be able to quickly assess the situation and make decisions that could mean life or death for those involved. They must also remain calm under pressure and work effectively as a team. The physical demands of the job represent additional challenges that firefighters must face. Congratulations again to all of the new graduates. You have earned a right to be here through hard work and dedication. As you embark on this new journey, we wish you success and safety in all that you do. May you always remain dedicated to your duty, and may your career be filled with many rewarding experiences. Thank you. Thank you, Minister Weeks. We're going to start our presentation of certificates. So if Mr. Weeks and Mr. Lovell could come right down the front, please, next to the table. Perfect. Okay. Firefighter, Marquis Can.
together for Ms. Bush. Firefighter Ashton Dorham. Firefighter Jake Fox. Firefighter Omori Majors. <laughs> Mr. Majors is a little nervous. right now. You got to remember that. <laughs> Five for the runny pitcher. Kai Day Richardson. When you hear your person's name, give him some love. Ramsey Segar.
firefighter Treshawn Sanders. <laughs> Mama's proud of you taking a picture of These firefighter Zico Swan. Yeah. Mr. Swan is our youngest, youngest recruit. presentations to make, but I don't see the actual presentations. Just bear with us for a minute. Okay, so, uh, perfect. So, the Minister, Mr. Lovell, if you, got, if you could come back down to the front, please. So, while we were away, the Newcastle International Training Academy, there was an award that was presented to a particular firefighter or recruit. And this award was for the best firefighter out of the group as we were in Newcastle. And that award goes to none other than firefighter Amori Majors. <laughs> as you can see, they gave us a beautiful little statue. <laughs> Mr. Majors is like a little walking encyclopedia. stood out just a bit more. I'm so proud of Mr. Cam, and here's his dream. Well done to you, Marquis Cam. And one more. presentation for the recruits course we have the recruit that is the most academic in Bermuda and that is none other than firefighter Amori Majors. Put your hands together for Mr. Majors one more time. I don't know 
know if we were just intimidated by his height or or whatever it was is coming up to you right now, Mr. Majors. Here you go. Well done to you, Mr. Majors. I just want everyone to stand up for two seconds. Stand up for two seconds, shake it off. Let me feel a little tired, I don't know. But I want you all to put your hands together for all these gentlemen that have worked hard, tirelessly, diligently, and they have put everything into this 2023 recruits course. So let's put your hands together for all of them. It's such a pleasure to work with each and every one of them. Now we're going to have an award that's going to be presented by one of the recruits and it's going to present it. I'm going to let him actually do the little spill on it. I'm not going to say what it's doing. So come on up. Just a second. <laughs> say thank you all for joining us for this illustrious ceremony. On behalf of myself and the 2023 recruits, I would like to start by thanking Acting Chief Lovell, and I would also like to thank the Minister of National Security, Michael Weeks, and the senior staff of the Bermuda Fire and Rescue Service for the opportunity to serve as a member. It is an honor to be a part of this service, and we look forward to the re rewarding career ahead of us. Five months ago, we embarked on a journey to prepare us to become firefighters. And I would be lying if I, was, if I said it was a walk in the park. From fitness training to hose evolutions, there were a few occasions, especially in the first few weeks, where I thought I must be crazy for signing up to do this. Hard work was paramount. It was met with fine tuning and attention to detail was embedded in everything that we did. The tests were not only physical, but they were also designed to test our mental strength. Weeks of studying chapter after chapter for test after test. Passion and drive the journey, and they take pride in saying that many will not be able to complete it. And that's how it's supposed to be. As firefighters, we will be met with challenges at every scene. Incidents and emergencies will become complex and they will require courage and strong decision-making. And we know that we are faced with moral pressure and the presence of scrutiny under these circumstances. The average citizen may struggle in this position, but through our training, we become knowledgeable and confident in how to best manage incidents and emergencies in the safest and most effective way possible. I would like to thank Acting Lieutenant Sumner, Acting Sergeant Casey, and Acting Sergeant Clark, for the support along the way. They provided us with the wealth of knowledge and experience, along with the con constant willingness to assist with any questions or challenges we might have. I can't begin to show my appreciation, but I'd like to formally say thank you. As I stand here with these nine other men, I can confidently say we are prepared to answer the call of Bermuda's Bravest. As a token of gratitude, we have prepared a gift for Acting Chief Level. A way to say thank you once again, and we look forward to our illustrious career.
2023. It's a very, very lovely, lovely artwork, piece of artwork. It's a picture and all of the names engraved. Very, very lovely. Thank you very much. All right, that concludes our presentations today. Sergeants, you might want to get your cameras ready. Start on this side. has changed from recruits course now to crew. So these guys have now officially become crew members of the Bermuda Fire Rescue Service. Let's put our hands together one more time. And have a vote of thanks by Mr. Lovell, Mr. Weeks. I'd like to just take a moment to thank each and every one of you for coming out and joining us here at uh, Hamilton Fire Station today. Obviously, it's been a wonderful occasion. I hope that the pride that I feel is shared amongst each and every one of you. I'm delighted to be here. I'm delighted to serve with a fine bunch of men and women, uh, both uh, uniform and civilian staff. None of that is lost on me. Thank you for all of our dignitaries for coming out, Minister, and all of our other very, very important guests from the Bermuda Police, from the Department of Corrections, and all points in between. We'd like to thank you for coming out today. Thank you very much. Thank you. So now we can actually head on down to the back for some refreshments. You can take pictures. We're going to get the guys actually to come up and take a group picture before we actually go down to the back and do everything. So if we could probably just stay seated for now, we may be able to take a few pictures and then we can partake. So you could actually partake if you're not interested in taking any pictures or anything. Thank you. <laughs>